Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, we're back on Detroit Become Human. Last time we got introduced to Kara, mainly, and Alice, but we also saw a little bit from Marcus as well, which I think we're going to be continuing as Marcus now. Yes, yes we are. Luckily we avoided the protests when we were playing as Marcus, so I'm very happy about that. And we managed to get the paint for our, I guess, owner, I guess, because they all own androids. There we go. See, Marcus. There we go. So, deposit package. First of all, let's have a look around. Uh, put put this down first, yeah. That's fine. Nice. Right, can I change camera angle? Yeah, cool. Ah, yes. Marcus. Does this do anything? No? Okay. Just looking in the mirror. Open. Let's open the bird cage. They are not real birds. Even the birds are androids. Nice. Right. Nice. And nice. I mean, it's pretty wholesome. I'll say that much. Cool. Okay, is there anything else in this hallway we can have a look around for? Uh, wake Carl upstairs. What if we go in... Oh. More artwork. Carl's obviously a painter. Let's go in here first before we wake Carl up. See what we can find, because I'm sure there's probably things we can have a look at. Like, oh, a magazine collectible. <laughs> These are just collectibles. The North Pole, right? Why Russia wants it. <laughs> okay, I don't know why they'd want it. Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals. Oh, okay. Right, President Warren. What about Detroit Today? Life, life found on Titan. What? President Warren wants to visit uh, to make a state visit to United Kingdom. Right, okay, interesting. Very interesting. Um, let me have a look. See what else I can find around here, because I feel like that's probably not the only thing we can discover. Wait, there is a couple more things over there, actually. I'm going to go over there first. I don't think we can even go in that room yet. What was it? Right. Oh, chest set. Checkmate in free moves for silver. Ah. Okay. Globe. Spin the globe, I guess. Nice. Nice. Very tall giraffe. Jesus. Interesting. There's lots of different artwork here. Uh, there was something over here. Oh, it's the piano, I'm guessing. Let's try it. Nice. It's very peaceful, to be fair. Little tune. Alright, cool. I don't think there's anything else in here other than the magazines, so let's go... Oh, wait. Ah, books. Fair. Let's go wake Carl up. Be on our way. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ooh, a chair. Is that a chair? Is it? Kind of. It's probably for a chair. Goats. Oh, dear, even. But this place is huge. Yeah, we could even see the downstairs from here. Wow. Uh, take care of Carl. We call up. I'm assuming this is Carl's bedroom over this way. No, that is not Carl's bedroom at all. Great. Oh, there's a door at the end of the hallway over here. Of course there is. Well, that's fine. We'll go over and wake Carl up. Make sure he's okay. Coral. Coral. Oh, the door opens on its own. Draw curtains. Carl is sleeping. Oh yes, Carl. Oh, Carl does have his chair. There it is. Right. Wakey, wakey. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's Good 10 morning. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% right. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. 
Right. Sounds like a good day to spend in bed. True. Right. Administer Carl's medicine. Where is it? Let's have a look. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? There we go. You never forget anything. No. Oh. Aww. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Come on, Thank Carl. Thank you. Oh, he's got tattoos. Pretty cool. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. <laughs> Uh, right. Let's Ooh, give him his medicine. Machine. They break down so quickly. Yeah. All this effort to keep him going. <laughs> Poor okay. Carl. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Right. Oh. Let's go. Let's help Carl up. Let's help him. Oh, uh. Oh, yeah. That's the button. There we go. Cool. We will help Carl with his daily tasks. It's such a strange world to live in a world full of androids, you know? But this could very well be a future we live in, you know? If technology advances to a stage. It could be. Maybe not the exact same, but like... You know, I mean, you already see robots and stuff like that being made these days, so... Who knows? There you go, Carl. Right. I'm assuming uh, we're taking Carl downstairs to the dining Anything table. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the this Museum way. of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm ah. your attendance. Nice. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. You should go. Okay, what else? Just right. your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Nice. Mm. Oh, oh, he's going a lot faster than me on the stairs. Leo. Leo. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. no okay. Don't bother. Okay. I'm assuming Leo's his son. Maybe. I didn't even check this door over here. I'll put Carl, place Carl's on his dining well, table first. Ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Right, we'll go around. Uh, there we go. There we go. We need to go check that room out. I didn't even know there was another room to check. Serve breakfast. What if I go back here, though? I will serve you breakfast, but I need to have a look over here. For I can't have a look over there. <laughs> Uh, I might have missed a little um, thingy. It's probably nothing important, but oh, it probably actually leads into this room. To be fair, yeah, yeah, it just it would have just lead led back in here anyway. That's fine. That's completely fine. Let's take Carl's dinner. His breakfast, nice dinner. Ah, looks very nice. I don't remember making this though. Surely it would be cold by now if um if we were out collecting the paint. I didn't come in here when I got back, so unless it's like a futuristic pot that keeps it warm forever, I don't know. <laughs> Could be anything. And voila. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Tell You're a lot you. nicer than Todd. We love Carl. Russian warships. Oh god. This will be to do with the whole uh, Antarctic thing, probably. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Yeah. Okay, Carl. Sure thing. Enjoy watching the news. Didn't even know that was a TV. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna play the piano. I like the piano. Wait, can I play the piano? I can play it. Let's play it. Uh, sit down. Come on, we'll do this. We'll do the piano. Let's see. Uh, something hopeful, melancholy, enigma. Let's go this one. Oh, 
Oh, I have to manually press them. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, Carl's finished his breakfast, I think. That was quick. Alrighty. Alright. This is actually pretty good. I don't know how long I can go, but it says I can exit at any time, so I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> nice! We did it. Oh, hi, Carl. <laughs> Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Oh, thank you. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. No. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Oh. Decide who you Call. are. And want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. It's true. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Okay. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, yeah, the art studio. Okay. That was a nice piano, though. Take Carl the stove. I gotta go around. There we go. There we go. Let's get you to the studio, Carl. Let's do it. I love Carl. Right. Uh, alrighty. Oh, he's even got his own little painter thing. Nice. God, technology is so futuristic. They have everything. I've never. I mean, those machines could very well exist Let's today, but I don't know. Off. Remove the sheet. It's like a little crane. Uh, okay. Remove the sheet. I'll remove the sheet for you. No. Oh. Pretty nice. It's like a... A man. Clean studio. I'll clean the studio a bit. I'll clean the studio a bit. Put the paint on... There. Oh, tidy up. Nice. God, we do so much tidy in as androids. They must get sick of it, though, surely. I mean, I don't mind doing it for Carl, but for someone like Todd? Oh, God, Todd is horrible. We'll be going back to see Kara a little bit later, I'm sure. And maybe Connor. We haven't seen Connor in a little while. There we go. Right, and now, uh, clean studio. Oh, there's something over here as well. Let's have a little clean up. All the paint brushes, I'm guessing. Right, did we do it? <sighs> did we do it? Oh, we still got more to clean. Where? I mean, it's a studio. It's going to be messy somewhat. Oh, that tidy. Uh, over here maybe. Oh, I didn't clean the entire studio though. I didn't get round to cleaning it all. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Ah, uh, I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't. Quite define. I guess I like it. Yeah. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me oh. closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Oh no. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. You want me to draw? Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Oh. Give it a try. <laughs> a sure thing, I guess. Okay. Let's do this. I guess I'll be painting something now. <laughs> Find a subject. Paint statue. Paint das. I'm not going to paint Carl's painting. 
Paid statue. Okay. Well, paint statue. If I swear, like, Peyton calls Peyton would just be weird. <laughs> that is a perfect copy. Uh huh. Of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, uh -huh. showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Uh, go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a try. Well, y there you go. You can have that painting, though. It's a lovely painting. I did that very quickly. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. Trust me. Okay. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Right. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Okay. And let your hand drift across the canvas. All right. Do I get to choose? Identity. Identity. Prisoner. Androids despair. I'm not a prisoner. Doubts. God, there's so many choices you probably could have chosen there. We have our doubts about our identity. I guess that's kind of what I'm signifying here. Right. We're doing all this while closing our eyes as well, I've realized. Right. I'm actually interested to see what this one's going to be of. I reckon there's one, a different one for each of these options. It's me. Oh my god. It's me. Oh, who are you? Hello. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh. Leo. Leo. Yeah, this is Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. Right. It's been a while, right? You all right? Uh -huh. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Oh, God. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. Oh, no. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Jesus. Sorry. The answer is no. What? There you go. Why? You Leo. know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son. Oh, right? don't start on me. Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? No, nope, don't you dare Smarter, start. No. More obedient. Not like me, right? Not you someone that takes this a thing piss. Is that's... not your son. It's a fucking machine. Hey, Leo, that's enough. Nah. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Jesus Christ. You never loved me. Well, that's intense. I do not like Leo at all. Poor Carl. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty. Well, that's Marcus. <laughs> oh, another mission complete. Did we do anything new this time? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm surprised. Androids. I didn't write anything about androids in the past. Maybe I should do that next time. But, uh, yeah, I had, obviously, like I say, I have played this before, so, yeah. Carl notices Marcus's clothes. All right, I didn't even know you could do that. Cool. Let us continue our little, uh, adventure through Detroit, November 5th. Jimmy's bar. Connor! We're playing as Connor again. 
Nice. Alrighty, Jimmy's bar. No androids allowed, right. Owners will be prosecuted. Who cares? Oh, Christ. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Sure thing. Uh, no face detected. Can I scan you? I'm gonna scan you, sir. I know exactly who Lieutenant Hank Anderson is. Lieutenant Anderson. Hello. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Yes. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. Yeah. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide. Yes. Involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. All right. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just right. be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. No. Reason. Understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Oh. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Okay. Reason. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. Uh -huh. It'll make life easier for both of us. Right. Buy him another drink. Yeah, let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? That'd be Bartender, nice. The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Neutral. Make it a double. <laughs> I should probably not be fueling his uh, alcoholism, but if it makes us nicer with him, you know. <laughs> That's not a good way to view it, but still. <laughs> I want to be nice to Hank. Poor Hank. Did you say homicide? Yep. Yeah. I did. I very much so did say homicide. Right. Our first case together, Connor and Hank. Oh. Let's have a look. You wait here. Uh, no. Uh, I can't. Diplomatic. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. Oh. I told you to wait here. <laughs> you shut the fuck up, and you wait here. Uh, conflict in orders for selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, I'm following him. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? Oh. I'm not confirming anything. Yep. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's oh. with me. <laughs> what part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Uh, Your I order have orders. You contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Sure, sure thing. Evening, Hank. Hello. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, yep. you got yourself an android, huh? <laughs> oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Alright. I'm just gonna have a look. Yeah, I think we just go inside. Lieutenant had paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. The body. Oh. Jesus, that's oh, it smell. Stinks, it even I'm guessing. Worse before we open the windows. Oh. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He is a Listen to briefing or review evidence. I'm going to review evidence and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was analyzed. No fingerprints, android involvement. Stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw. Him. Wow, stay easy. In. Whoa, blood. The dried blood. I'm worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited okay. till morning. Examine 
I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Red ice. The real. This feels like it's the real it's evil the of this world. Here. There's a kitchen drugs. knife over here. Probably. Right, let me have a look. I need to Wait, the get all the clues sorted. Any sign of a break in? Dried blood. Nope. What's over here? The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Check Not this. Much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Nothing here. I, I gotta get some air. He did have an android. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Right, a club, eating club. All right. So, can we review the evidence uh, in the kitchen? Wait, there's got to be something around here. Dried blood. Oh, a magazine for eating club. Right, uh, we don't need to look at that. <laughs> right. Oh, wait. Can we not look at that? Yeah. Missing knife. Okay. Examine. Baseball bat. Right, let's do it. We're being a full-on detective again as Connor, as always. But we're good as that. We're good as a detective. Our first case we solved pretty well. And then... Boom. Oh. Deviant took a knife. Okay. Jesus. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Got you. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. There's a clue over here. I think. Yep. Fingerprints, theft and aggravated assault, signs of struggle. I don't think this was a theft. Right, review evidence. There doesn't seem to be anything new in here. There is blood there again. Eight. Oh, that was eight out of ten. I think we actually should probably review the body as well. Uh, we're not able to review the body. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Wait, I am alive. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. Examine. We're taking samples for analysis. Let's examine the body. Oh, God. So this body's probably been here for a few weeks. Uh, red ice. He was obviously on drugs. 28 stab wounds. Oh, shoot. Fingerprints. Right, let's reconstruct. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He fell. He fell over on the beer bottles. Okay, fell here. And then, oh, he was being stabbed repeatedly. Jesus. And then, they came from the kitchen. Right. Okay. He was stabbed 28 times. 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Yeah. Indeed. I... Analyze. I am alive. Regular letters. Fun cyber... Cyber... Fun. Cyber... Cyber life stance. S s t oh, you know what I mean. Right, is there anything else in this room, first of all? I'm not reporting yet. I doubt they went outside. Is there any clues out here? Analyze. Shoe print. Door was locked from the inside. Right. I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Yeah. Well, this happened weeks ago. 
Tracks could have faded. Maybe. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Okay. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Oh, the deviant didn't escape this way. Right. Hey. Okay. We are missing one more clue. And I feel like it's gonna be down here. In here. Okay. Ah. Yes. A statue of sorts. Obsessive writing. RA9. And a statue as a religious offering. Jesus, this has gotten weird. Is that all the evidence we need? Yep, it is, right. Fully investigated, now it's time we speak to Lieutenant Anderson. I think he's still in here. Is he? Yeah, he is, there he is. Talk. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Dead. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Yeah, well... I think the victim attacked the android... With... With the bat. With the bat. With the bat. Figured that out. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Uh-huh. Thank God we found all the evidence. Uh, the victim, the android... Give me a second. The android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the android. The android stabbed the victim. The, the android did stab the victim, so... The android stabbed the victim. Yep. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yeah. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Uh huh. Oh shoot. Jesus. This house is an utter shithole. Oh god. I tried to get away from the android. Yep. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Yep. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. Yeah, well... It was damaged by the bat... Uh-huh. ...and lost some Therium. Lost some what? Therium. Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. Yes. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. Uh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? <laughs> uh, maybe. Correct. Yes. I went up with Hank. Nice. Ah, right. So we follow the little trail of blue blood. I get out of my way. Officer. Officer. For goodness sake. He was in the way. <laughs> God damn it. Of course it leads over here, of course it does. Ah, yes. Examine. A ladder was used. Oh, right. Look, it'll be up there. It'll be in the attic. Yep, traces led to the attic. Oh, thank you, Connor. Very useful. We need a chair. We'll go get the chair from here. That should be useful. Take the chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Yep. Uh, it's in here. Something. Yeah, I'm going to go check something. Sure. Because the android's definitely going to be in the attic. 100%. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, goes nothing. 
Ah, that's not ominous as all hell. Jesus Christ. Uh, I hope it doesn't attack me. Rather not die. You know. Search the attic. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Watch, it'll be a mannequin or something. Watch, I'm counting on it. Yep, I, I knew it. Knew it. I reckon the real one's still up here, though, because where else would he go? It's an attic. I wonder how long he's been up here. Weeks, probably. I think that was what he said anyway, weeks, after he wasn't paying the rent or something. Oh! Yep, that's him, alright. That's our android, or our deviant in this case. See if I can uh, slowly walk around, see if I can get to him. Please don't attack me with a knife. Please don't attack me. Okay, here goes nothing, I guess. Come on, Connor. Come on. Is that... Wow, is that a red eye? Or is that the little circle thing in our heads? Oh! Yep. It's, it's not an eye. Deviant located. Nice. Hi. I was just defending myself. Okay. He was going to kill me. I can understand that. I'm but, begging you. Oh, Jesus. Don't tell them. No, I'm going to have to tell them. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Sorry. I got him. Chris, Ben. You can't just you now. can't just stay up here, man. You can't. Come on. Right. Hey, we located the deviant. Perfect. Partners. Right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, we did a lot. Reconstruct the crime scene. Wonder what happens if you don't reconstruct it. <laughs> you could be really bad at this game if you wanted to. Hank asks for more time. Hank refuses. Hank ends the investigation. All right. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. You could spill Connor's. You could spill Hank's drink as well. Uh, I did that once. It didn't end well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching uh, the Detroit Become Human playthrough so far. We're going to probably go back to Kara next episode. And then I think it rotates around. So Kara, then Marcus, then um, uh, then Connor. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed so far. And I will see you all in the next one.